And what we know about the Dilaj, uh, the global flood, and also the Gilgamesh, the Noah flood, it, and also there are many, many uh, legends of the global flood around the world. It could be the same event. So that's the ancient law civilization. And the agriculture maybe is not the invention in 11,000, but reinvention yeah, of the law civilization. And the Gobekli Tepe is not the first clever human being that made a uh, large construction, but I think is the survivor of the law civilization. Gunung Padang, the unit two and unit three, one is constructed on, on this area. It is interesting, so I, I make this hypothesis of the cycles of civilization, it's really from my own. I, I'm not copying from other people, I'm not looking from other books and stuff, but, oops. When I read this Plato Stimius, I just get shocked because he already said that. He already said that, yeah? Okay, now we're gonna talk uh, very briefly about uh, a few sites in Indonesia. That's very also very interesting. So we will be talking about the Toba Megalith pyramids here, and then the Pasema Megaliths in the South Sumatra, in the uh, Dempo volcano, and then in the Central Sulawesi Megalith pyramid. So here's the Bakara Valley in the in the Toba Lake, and this is the Toba Taf Plateau. 400 meters, and this pyramid is like hiding in the plain side because it's blend uh, like a chameleon in this last, uh, last, last forest at Tobata Plateau. Yeah. It's 120 meter step pyramid, and it's still well preserved, but it's hidden on this, uh, in the forest on this uh, thick vegetation, and we found uh, Lots of artifacts here, like this one, this megalith with the triangular mark on it. And it's not just one. There are three pyramids in the valley. When this pyramid gets viral, the locals just like get curious, and they burn the hills to see the structures inside uh, very fast. Now let's move to the Dempo Pasema, a megalithic site here. So this is also very fast. Lots of uh, the status here, uh, megaliths, like hundreds of them, even thousands of them, are still, uh, some of them, you know, uh, many of them are still buried underground and also hidden in the forest. Yeah. This is one of the examples. It's wearing the helmet and it's carrying the little elephant with him. It's wearing a booth, a clothes, and even carrying a, like a backpack, like a like a modern backpack, and some of them uh, that wearing this uh, drinking water and flexible hose. So uh, lots of very interesting uh, daily uh, details here. This is a giant size, yeah. Let's see. So and this giant also uh, enjoying playing with the elephant. He has a protruding eyes, a flat nose, and a thick lip. So it reminds us about Olmec in Mexico, they look like. These big guys doesn't look like human to me, but it's also wearing clothes, yeah? I don't know why Graham uh, raising his eyes, eyeglass there. This is also a mysterious, uh, mysterious figure over here. It's on the uh, stone wall. It's a one kilometer stone wall, but most of them is still hidden in the thick uh, vegetation 